61A lecture number 27 announcements tomorrow Tuesday maps composition revisions and midterm two regrade requests are both due homework 9 is posted it's due on Thursday that gives you more practice with recursion and scheme and then you'll build the scheme project that's the last major project in this course We'll post it tonight, and it's due two weeks from tomorrow. But you must get started early for full credit. Part one, which is only a couple of questions, is due this Friday. It's there to make sure that you get started. But don't be deceived. The second one of those questions is notoriously tricky. So make sure you give yourself enough time to complete it. Checkpoint two, which is most of the project is due next Thursday. So you should plan on dedicating a substantial amount of time to the project before next Thursday, because that's when most of the project is due. Then the whole project is due the following Tuesday. That involves writing some scheme code to run on your very own scheme interpreter that you've built. And if you finish the whole thing by Monday the 16th, then you'll get an early submission bonus point. The scheme project is really an interesting piece of work. But since this is the largest program that you'll write this semester, I do recommend that you find time to really concentrate on it. It's great to work with a partner on this project and make sure that you don't leave it to the last minute because you'll learn much more if you're able to work through it methodically rather than rushing through it, hoping to get all the tests to pass just in time for the deadline. Lecture this week is going to tell you how to solve the project. Today's lecture covers the general architecture of the interpreter that you're going to build. Wednesday's lecture is just going to focus on a particular extra credit problem and how to solve it. And Friday's lecture is going to focus on another extra credit problem and how to solve it. That's right, there are two different extra credit problems on this project. I'd like everybody to solve them both and get that extra credit so I'm dedicating this week's lectures to giving you the information you need in order to solve those problems. But this is all required material for the course that you're meant to learn. Regardless of whether you solve the extra credit problems or not, you have to know what tail calls and macros are, so you might as well learn them early, make sure you watch lecture this week, and then go ahead and solve the corresponding problems on the scheme project.